What's up, guys? Ben Sam Lag TV here. Thanks for tuning in uh, to this video showing you how to get rich by eating. Um, and it's it's a very interesting concept. I was thinking about it throughout, uh, you know, history. I mean, throughout just just looking at human humans and history and um, the spiritual side, the the side of the soul, um, and then the physical side uh, that we eat to grow, to get rich as we, as we grow. And then not just to get rich, to, but to, to get completely rich, the whole body, soul, and spirit. So the Bible says we're three parts, body, soul, and spirit. You have to feed all three and we eat, we are made to eat. And that's how we grow. And that's how we get rich. And that's how we have success in our life. So looking back uh, to step, step one, even in the beginning, when God put man in the garden, even if you don't believe this, you, you can understand the story. Just look at the story, what it's saying of God put man in front of a tree to eat. That was the first thing God did. And God wanted man to eat, to become spiritually whole. He made man in his image and likeness, but man was not complete until he ate the tree of life, which he never did because he, he disobeyed God and had to leave the garden. So spiritually, he, he didn't complete. He wasn't complete. You know, he, he looked like God. You know, we were created in God's image and likeness, but he wanted us to have his life within. That's the tree of life. So later on, as we know, Jesus died and man can now eat God. It says, Jesus said, I'm the bread of life. He who eats me shall live because of me. So that's the spiritual side. We need to eat on the soul. We have a soul. Um, the Bible says that we are made body, soul, and spirit. In Hebrews, it even says that they're so close together, it's hard to even know. So the word of God divides the three, body, soul, and spirit. So we know clearly which is which, because man many times operates in, in, in different, uh, you know, out of different sources. Sometimes it's from your body. Sometimes it's from your soul leads you. Sometimes your spirit leads you. And it's hard to know. The word of God helps us know what's, what's, the, what's the part of us that's leading us at the time. The soul needs to be fed. We eat. We eat knowledge. We eat you know, mu music, you know, entertainment, music, uh, books, um, you know, uh, the motion is, is the motion is in the, is in the soul, the mind is in the soul and the will. So when we, you know, take those things in, we eat and our soul grows. And finally, the body, we know we eat physical food, we eat hamburgers, hot dogs, steaks, you know, when we eat those foods, they digest, they become part of who we are, they, they make up and make us up and we become physically rich if we eat health, if we eat first, we have to eat. Second, we have to eat healthy, we have to eat good food. So you could become rich physically, yet your soul and your spirit are dead, and they're and they're poor. So you're not, you wonder, like you'll see some people who, who make money in um, ways that are not so proper, like stealing, selling drugs, uh, whatever, you know, cheating, lying, and they make money that way. That's fine. They could become rich, but within they, they didn't feed their soul and their spirit properly. They gave their spirit and soul poison. And so they're not rich within they're only rich without. And so you could tell a lot of these rich people commit suicide. They're not happy. They're depressed. They're on drugs or alcohol abuse. And they're just not happy because they they got money on the outside through poison. They ate poison and, and made money. Um, and, and same with physical, physical food. If you eat physical, you know, hamburgers and hot dogs and chips, that's what you're going to become. You're not going to be physically rich either outwardly. Okay. So you want to become rich, you have to eat physical food, healthy, you have to eat food for your soul that's healthy, and you have to eat food for your spirit that's healthy, and you can become rich completely. Some people are rich completely, and they, they, they give all their money, they don't have, it's not just about money that makes you rich. So, you know, the body needs to be fed properly. So just like is if you eat unhealthy food, your body will become fat and out of shape and sick same with your soul same with your spirit if you feed your soul music that's just you know the, the soul can be fed music which can make the soul uplifted and make the soul happy and and enjoy you know and 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 develop you can read books that make your that make your soul grow and and develop you know but if you read books that are just you know, if you don't read, number one, you're not feeding your soul. So we need to read. But if you're reading garbage, there's poison that you can put in your soul. Emotional, there's music that's very healthy, but then there's music that just doesn't build you up. It's just 
it's just, you know, it's, it's not healthy. It's like junk food. It makes you happy in the meantime. It, it makes your soul happy in the meanwhile. But what is it doing to build up your soul? A lot of music breaks down your soul. A lot of books break down your soul, like comic books. I mean, those can be entertaining. It's fine. But how is that going to really build your soul? Now, there's a there could be some use for that because it can give you creativity. There's creativity. So there's certain art and thing that we can enjoy. But there's certain arts and certain music and certain books that are they really building your soul? Or are they bringing your soul down? Are they garbage, right? Or are you not even doing them with, with anything? So if you're at least reading and enjoying some kind of music or arts or these kind of things, that they will build the soul up in some way. But if you're not doing any of those things, if you just you know are, are living to eat and you're living by the body, then your soul is not developing and growing. It's going to show you're not going to be potentially your 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 success is going to be not so great even financially even you know in, in this life spiritually now that's the deepest part of man that like i said when god created us it was to be spiritually filled and if we don't fill ourselves spiritually you could have you could be the most intellectual uh creative you could have the best body be chiseled and 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 look great and still be empty and poor and that's because spiritually you were made to be filled by God. And if you don't fill that, that, that your spirit with spiritual food, with good food, not with garbage, there are spiritual things out there that people try to be involved in also that bring them death, bring them depression, bring them um, to be poor. You fill yourself with God, you can be rich even within. So then spirit, soul, and body, you can be completely rich. And, and that will be expressed in your living, okay? It's not just, um, doesn't just stay within you. It, it's expressed through your soul and your body. People see, man, this is a rich person. This person is rich. They have, they have something with, they have something in this life that's beyond just physical, get monetary gain, physical appearance, more than just intellect or creativity. It's something within that's been filled and is, is being fed on a daily basis. You have to eat daily for your body, for your soul, for your spirit. God said, you know, he gave the Jews manna in the Old Testament to food from heaven. They would eat it to be nourished every day. They had to get up in the morning to get it or it would turn to worms. When Jesus came, he said, I'm the bread of life. Your fathers ate the manna and they died. He who eats me shall live because of me. To get eternal life. He gives us eternal life. The food he gives us is himself. Jesus is... The, he's the bread so he died on the cross to open up the tree of life he's the bread you eat him as the bread through his word and you can become spiritually rich you can have you can have your soul be rich you can have your body be rich all three and that's a completely rich person human being and 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 in, if you're lacking in any of those you're always going to feel a little off i think even if you're spiritually full you read your bible you're praying you're going to church you're doing all the spiritual activity and you feel nourished within if you're not healthy on the outside eating eating junk food and and staying up late and, and hurting your body um not sleeping properly not eating healthy not exercising you're going to still feel a little something's off you, you, your spirit won't be able to come out fully because god made us with a body and a soul to help express the spirit within that when we eat and, and feed god wants to be manifested through us and that can only come through our soul being enriched in our body so that's what i'm going to share for today you become rich by eating and isn't that great what an enjoyable life you know this life is not a life of burdens of pressure of hardships of trying to you know it's it's eating it's you know don't you love to eat i love to eat sometimes too much that's the problem same with our soul. It should, it should be, we should understand when we're reading a book, it's just eating. We're feeding our soul. We have to eat. If we don't eat, our soul is going to starve. We got to enjoy positive, good things that build us up, music, um, art, and, and different things that the soul enjoys, right? Doing, uh, learning, learning new skills, math and science and, and history and all these different things. We need to fill, we need to build our soul up so we can become have a rich soul and then spiritually we need to eat god we need to eat jesus said i mean jesus was born in a manger that's a horse trap that's where the, the horses would eat he wanted man to know even in his birth i'm here for to be your food spiritually you got to eat me and you'll live and we get eternal life through that that's that's to become rich within that's god's life the zoe life eternal life the greek is zoe zoe is god's life 
So it's not just going to heaven for forever. It's getting God's life within you, like which was God's original purpose for man, that he would eat the tree of life to get God's life. Jesus is the life. So he's, he's, now we can, because he died on the cross, he took care of Adam's sin. We are now have the opportunity to have the tree of life, which we kind of didn't get, which man didn't get in the garden. And so now you can be spiritually rich, have your soul be rich and have your body be rich. So eat. It's a great life we have today here, people. You can eat, enjoy building your, your body, building your soul and building your spirit by eating. What an enjoyable life we have. That's awesome. That's amazing. Ben Samlock TV. Thanks for tuning in. See you next time. Bye.